There we go. There we go. That's a nice size one right there. Oh. All right. Peace y'all, what's up? Welcome to Free Will Fishing. We got Pono, we got Trey, and we got a new friend over there, John. He's gonna be fishing with us. <laughs> we got our Ryan, you see flying our Ryan over there. All right, so we're in our nice little uh, spot here. We're gonna see what's happening. We got a baby turtle swimming right there, greeting us, telling us what's up. All right, I have a good feeling about the day. So let's go. Can I show you where I want you to land? And then I'm gonna hand you the, um, and you can stand right here if you want. Right there. Okay. Not too far. It's not up. Oh. And I just reeled it up a little bit so that. And I can turn it Uh-huh. I just got to right here. Keep it up. So that you can feel and you can see the tip go down. Is that, is that no, no, you're pulling it. <laughs> Let the lead rest on the bottom. You'll be able to tell. If the rod starts pulling back like that, then you know it's a then you know it's a fish. Just it's let the rock. Yeah, the lead yeah, let the lead stay there. Because the lead is gonna stay there. Be patient. Just be still. See remember fishing is about patience, right? So the lead is going to kind of stick into the rock for right now, and that's what you want for the time being. I'm not gonna get fish. Huh? I'm not gonna get fish like this. Yes, you can. What do you mean? You're not gonna get fish like this. I want to use the bottle so it doesn't pull it. So what? You, so you want to use the bobber one? So you can tell. Yeah, no, it's supposed to. How is it gonna get lower? Say again? How do I know when it's lower? That goes. When a fish takes it? No, when a... Uh... Oh wait, so it's supposed to let it rest so a fish can get it? Yeah! But then, yeah. then but, that's but you, get But stopped. you got... But... Right, the lead, right, stays into the rock like this. You see how I have this? So if something starts pulling at it, right, like that, I'm going to be able to feel that. You feel me? But then, if a fish pulls on it, then let Oh, up. oh. Is that a fish? Might be. Yep, oh, it's God. a fish. Here. Reel it in, man. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it in. You see? Reel it in. <laughs> it's a small one, but it's something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you caught the first fish. <laughs> now, so 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 much for you not going to catch a fish. Just that way. <laughs> now we just needed to be bigger. Well, are we gonna All right. Hello. Smile, smile at the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna just Are make a still out of this. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Doesn't have to be bigger than ten inches. Oh yeah, for sure. That's only like four inches, three inches. No, that's that's at least six, but it's still not okay, what we want. Hmm. Yep. Well, that, that was cool. I got the first catch. 
See, I told you. It's funny. No one ever want. Oh, you on? You on? Oh. Oh, he got something. You on? Oh. Oh. I guess not. You got it. Oh, now you're not. Oh no. Oh no, you are. Oh, oh my God. Got a rat. That's a nice big one though. I can't put that on the big uh that's a fulfill, yeah? well, No, that's a um a rat. Yeah, that's a how rat. It's cute. You <laughs> bait fish. All right. Trade with the bait fish right here, the how rat. Look at the crazy colors on it. All right. No. Oh my god. Nice size rash there. Good for uh, lure fishing. Let's see what happens with that. Cause there's nothing, we threw a bread out there like maybe almost up to two minutes ago and it has not gotten tagged yet. I'm very surprised. Oh wait, here it is, here it is, here it is. There it is, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look, look, look. It's getting mobbed now. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's where the bread fish are. Okay, bet. With the bread, actually. Oh, little Nanui. <laughs> little Nanui. I'm not going to keep him, though. No. Sure can. <laughs> No, we're not keeping them. Because he's too small. They don't have a size limit, but we don't want to keep a bunch of small fish all the time. Or any time, really. Oh, oh. Sorry, Nui. You're kind of flipping out my hand here. Yep. <laughs> you think it's a shark? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, this might be in a holy holy. Or no. It's a small papilla. Keep it. Whoa. Keep it. We cannot keep him. That's not what happened. <laughs> just, a, just a little one though. Woo. See what, what ends up happening is that when I set the hook, it'll set and the, the bait will kind of slide up the hook. But it was definitely on the point. I don't know how it got up there, but. So those little floater balls, what are they, what are they for? What do they do? Well, well, this is not really floaters. They're just little beads. And they just kind of give a little bit of a, a sight to what they're going for. Now, are they necessary? I won't say yes, because I definitely caught a lot of fish without them. Just a straight up hook. But they definitely, um, they don't hurt. They'll basically help the fish kind of see it. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's a nice size one right there. Oh shoot. Okay. All right. I'm I'm over your line. Oh no. Ooh. Should I turn this back on? Do you see numbers on my um on the screen on my thing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's that's me. That's me, Pono. I think I'm over your line again. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I caught 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I got it. Oh, that is a big papilla. That's a big amila. Yeah. I need, uh, woo. I might need that, uh, that net. Uh, no, nah, you know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm gonna try to walk him back. Woo. Uh. Woo. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. I hope my camera is on. Oh, it's on. Oh, shoot. Oh my goodness. That might be my biggest one. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. Uh, I don't want to huh? I don't know. Do you see any numbers? Yeah, it's on. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. See what uh, happens when you take my spot? Oh my goodness. No, I told you guys to stay over here. I said I will put bait in the water right now. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> oh man. Woo! It's heavy too. This is at least two. Yeah, this is at least two pounds. Oh man. Woo! There we go. All the preparation paid off. Oh man. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, good thing I had mine. I am so glad you had your. I know I got it up on the rocks and everything, but. Woo! Dang. Wow. Okay. So, everything I told you is true, as you see. <laughs> as you see, got a nice size Omilu here. All right. My friends came along to. Help me out with this, man. Otherwise, I don't know if uh, I would have made it over, <laughs> made it off the rocks with this thing. Can I try? Oh wow! Can you please take a picture of me? Oh, what, what you holding that? Mm -hmm. You sure? Okay. All right. Same time. I need my other one. <laughs> All right, put your other one. There we go. Look at me. <laughs> That's good. Can I see? See? Look. Nice on Milo there. All right, that guy's going back. Not keepable. Not keepable, but thank you for the, giving him a nice little fight. So you put this on the hook, and then you kind of smash this around the hook a little bit. This fish is so strong. What, just now? Oh, the one you got on there right now. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> you got with a little tiny something. Oh, that's, a good fight. <laughs> that's the smallest papillo oh. ever. <laughs> uh oh. Sorry about that. I think I did. My bell, my bell came down for some reason. Uh oh. It's gonna free itself. thought I was joking. That was a big strike. <laughs> that strike took the whole thing off. If it didn't rip off, it would have been, it would have still been going. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. Time with another nice little Milu there. 
Alright. You good with taking them off? Alright. She can't hear you. Here you go. Oh. I'm grabbing by the um near the head. There we go. Ooh, you double hooked up. Do the both lips it looks like. Oh shoot. I hope he makes it. Alright, try to revive him in that little pool right there. Hold him by the tail and then like keep moving back and forth just like that. Awesome. There we go. Oh, you caught trash. All right. <laughs> trash. All right, so now you can just flip him over over there. He's going to be fast now. What is that? I don't think we should put that. Huh? Where's the other It's trash. We're gonna put that right here. Where's the other strip? Over here. It's right, tiny Papio family right here. The tiny Papio club today. Oh, oh, oh! Fail. All right, it's going to, come on, get back in the water. Come on, make it. There we go. Get yourself out of there. There we go. Good job, Pono. <laughs> All right. We had a great time. We had John here for the first time here with Free Will Fishing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you enjoy yourself? I had a great time. All right. For sure, for sure. Caught a couple fish, nothing big, not like Will. <laughs> it's all good. Next time, next time it'll be my turn. Definitely, definitely, man. Yeah, Pono, Pono definitely pulled in some fish for the first time with us, too. Yep, yep. Yep. That's right. Young man holding it down. <laughs> all right, and Trey there, he just got hooked up on to the... <laughs> you say that because he got hooked up with a big fish. It just ripped off his line at the uh, at the weak point, but he's going to you know get back out there and he's going to definitely get to it. We have flying around going to say bye to us because we're about to go home. All right, later. You can fish with Will. I'm sorry. All right. We bring you to the good spots. I promise you that. For sure. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Peace, love, fishing. Peace, y'all. What's up? Welcome to Free Will Fishing. What I'm going to show you right now is how we're going to fillet this really large omelu that I caught. And we're going to fry half of them and then sashimi half of them because it is just enough meat on the sky to do so. So, I'm gonna let you know what we're gonna do. For the frying part, you wanna get you some sea salt. And actually, this looks like Morton's because it's in a container, but I put some actual Hawaiian salt in there. Just use the container for convenience. I'm gonna get you some white pepper, get you some garlic powder, and some onion powder, and whatever other kind of flavors that you want in your mixture of batter. Now this batter, what I've done, is mixed a mixture of flour, panko, which is Japanese bread crumbs, and some cornmeal, okay? So that is for the frying side. Now, for the sashimi, get you a nice looking plate here. Get that together with some chopsticks. And all you need is some shoyu, 
and some sesame oil along with some wasabi if you like that. And shoyu, by the way, is soy sauce for those who don't know. So get your fillet knife ready, your scale ready, and then have your trash can nearby, of course, so that you can go ahead and throw away the things that you're going to throw away from this guy. All right, so let's go. All right, so starting out, some people like to wear gloves because they don't want their hands all fishy. And this is actually one of those fish that don't smell very strong, um, depending on the size of it. The larger it gets, the more it smells. Uh, but, you know, this is a nice solid size. going to do is go ahead and you actually want to take a heavy knife and then what we want to do is go ahead and chop this part because this part here is a very hard part of the tail okay so we got to chop it so that we can start our uh, our fillet there we go cut that like that and just so that I can be done with the other side I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side like that too because you, you can't really just scale this part. So, do that like so. All right, so I can be done with this particular knife, done with the scaler. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start filleting. And we're not even going to clean any of the guts out because we won't need to based on the method that I'm showing you here. going to go right behind this fin area right but try not to cut all the way through all right and you're going to cut around like that so that's going to be where our knife stops as we go around this head this point we're near the rib cage so we want to start cutting down the rib cage down the rib cage there we go this wasn't easy this does take a lot of practice you also want to you know of course you avoid getting into the gut area because that's what we've been trying to avoid anyway and remember that line we made this helps us when it's time to cut out here we go it's another piece of bone So there you go. Now, some people like to rinse the blood a little bit. That's up to you. Some people like to pat it with like a towel. I'll rinse it just a little bit. It's not gonna affect the fish too, too much, but you don't want it to be super wet anyway, either way. So, now what we're gonna do is take the rest of the bones out 
Some people keep them in, some people do not. I do not like to keep them in. So you'll see me very often cutting these bones out to make a boneless filet. Inside down. And depending on how hot your grease is, you really don't want to keep it in there for more than, I would say maybe about two minutes on each side, really. Should do it. And guys, there you have it. That is, you know, out of one side of the fish. So, nice little meal there. Here you have your fried omido. Alright guys, now with this side, this is the side that we're going to sashimi. nice little outline to where we're going to be cutting remembering not to cut all the way through not at all okay 
So now what we are going to do is go ahead and skin this guy because we're not going to eat the skin in our sashimi. suggestions on how I can make this nicer please leave your comments and let me know how I can get better at this pro this process my friend is the finished product all right let's show y'all this is so delicious mm. oh man oh that's fresh oh man it makes a difference oh that's so great hope you guys try this oh this is so good thanks so much for watching another episode of free will fishing please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you feel so moved to do so. And if you're one of my viewers that haven't tried raw Hawaiian fish yet, try it. What are you waiting for? Peace, love, and fishing.